Hey guys, I'm going to be demoing some of these Shop Miss A products that I have hauled thus far. I'm starting out filling in my brows just a little bit um, lightly with this clean color pencil and then I'm using the spoolie on the opposite end to kind of distribute the product. I'm doing this pretty lightly. Now that does not set but it's very creamy so I would give that one a thumbs up. I'm going behind that with the clean color brow pomade and I'm using an e.l.f. brush just because I didn't have one from Shop Miss A. Um, this product does set and I like the color. It's a little tough to manipulate and that could be the brush and um, spoolie that I was using. And it does set, like I mentioned, but when it does set, uh, if you try to manipulate it afterwards, it kind of crumbles and flakes off, so it doesn't set kind of like to a budge-proof finish. Still, I think it's a great deal for a dollar, so I would repurchase that. Now I'm using the Clean Color Matte Eyeshadow Primer all over the lid from lash line to brow, and then I'm also taking that underneath I already mentioned in my last haul that I really like this product. I've already purchased a backup. Now I'm using the Clean Color Matte Eyeshadow and an e.l.f. Defining Eye Brush to kind of go right over where a crease would be if I didn't have hooded eyes and put in that orange color from the uh, Bonfire Palette as a transition shade. And then I'm going in with this Real Techniques brush because it's very small and I have very small eyes just under that transition shade to kind of create a shadow for the crease. That brown is deep and also cool, so I think it's a great crease shade for darker skinned ladies like myself. And I'm just blending that out with this blending eye brush. I'm using another trio, the Amalfi Trio because I wanted to do a look using two of these and I'm just kind of making it up as I go along, but I took that Tiffany teal and put it on the inner corner, the inner lid. And then I took that vibrant cobalt blue and put it on the other half of the lid. And I'm just using the included sponge because I'm trying to minimize fallout, but I'm sure you guys can already see I do have some fallout. Still, I actually really like these trios. When I swatched them, I thought they were a little chalky but um, they perform very well with that primer. And I'm going in again with that Real Techniques brush and I'm just deepening the outer V and then I'm just gonna blend that out. I don't know how much that brush costs but it works really well for smaller eyes and that was gifted to me by Lisa and Beauty. I will link her YouTube channel below. And now I'm just building up the blue to a more vibrant color in the outer V and then taking that down underneath to the lower lash line to meet that Tiffany teal in the inner tear duct. And then again, I'm just blending that out a little bit more. I'm using this e.l.f. smudge sponge, which also can be purchased at Shop Miss A. And I'm smudging it out a little bit. And then I'm going in with the e.l.f. crease brush and I'm using the brown mixed with the orange to kind of bridge those two colors together. And now I'm going in with that Real Techniques brush again and just building up the blue a little bit more under the eye. Okay, so now I'm cleaning up with a makeup wipe. This is typically what I do in lieu of using tape or something to get a crisp line. And actually that um, is a NOLA wipe from Dollar Tree. So there's a look at the first eye. I'm gonna go off camera and do the other one. All right, so now just as an experiment, I thought I would use the Clean Color Matte Eyeshadow Primer all over my face in lieu of a primer to see how that would work. So I'm just rubbing that in with my fingers. And then I'm going to use this Amuse 3-in-1 foundation stick in the color Pecan to kind of brighten under the brow. It doesn't really need to be sharpened, per se, but I am just cleaning it up just a little bit. And then I'm going under the eye to brighten that up a little bit, although you can't really tell because I've got that white cast from the uh, primer. It's scary. 
And I just squeeze a little bit of this Sante foundation onto the back of my hand and I am stippling that all over with my flat top kabuki. And I'm trying to blend it in but I'm noticing that I'm having some problems with it being kind of streaky and, and difficult to blend out. And because this is, you know, a new foundation, a new primer, there's too many variables. I can't tell what's to blame. So I'm just going to grab my AOA Wonder Blender and go back over this and see if I can get a better finish. And I'm using a dry because I don't want to shear out the coverage. Now I'm going to use this Sante Beauty Face Mineral Loose Powder to set under the eyes and where I use that Amuse foundation. And I'm just going to take it up to the forehead as well. This one you can see has a yellow undertone, so that's really nice for brightening. And then I'm going to use the Clean Color True Self Pressed Powder in Walnut, which I have purchased tons of times. And I'm using my Kabuki on a stick to kind of place that on the perimeter of my face and the hollows of my cheeks and on the jawline. I'm using the pencil end of the Clean Color Pixie Jar Liner. Not a big fan of the pencil. It is creamy and very blendable, but it's not a stark black and it doesn't set. And then I'm using the liquid from the same liner to do a really thin, kind of medium length, skinny wing. And I'm sorry this is blurry guys, this is the only footage I took so I just threw it in here anyway. You see I'm putting like kind of dots on either side of my tear duct and then a little point and then I'm connecting those to make a little tiny triangle like an eagle's beak in the front. And then on the back end I'm just going to elongate the tail end. And then when I get it to the length I want it to be and have kind of a good point, then I'll just take that point and connect it by dragging the brush horizontally to meet the wing. And these are the Cara eyelashes in the Demi Wispies. Sorry, you guys didn't catch that either. I, I put this mirror in front of my face so I could see, but of course it blocked the shot. I was using clean color um, lash curlers. So I decided not to use my mirror for this shot so you guys could see it and then ended up missing some powder so try to ignore that. I'm not 100% sure whether I missed it or I went over it and it didn't want to blend off. I can't tell. I'll have to try this again with fewer variables and see if these products work a little bit better together. And now I'm using this Sunkissed Mineral Blush which I raved about. I definitely like this one. Would recommend. Have purchased more of those. And then I'm using this Giovi Magic Finish Powder, which is an eyeshadow. And I'm just kind of putting it under the brow bone, on the cheeks, the cupid's bow, the nose. But here's the thing. You don't need a lot of this. And I didn't think I picked up a lot, but I was... I, I, I picked up too much. Too much. This stuff is super pigmented. Definitely two thumbs up on that product. Okay, now I'm just doing a thick line and prepping for this liquid lipstick. I'm going to just line the perimeter of my lips and then fill in to like a third of the way. That's another thumbs up product. I actually don't know. I think the only dud was the Amuse 3-in-1 foundation, otherwise I really like all of these. Well, the clean color liquid lipsticks are a little sticky, but the color selection's so good that I keep buying them anyway, so I don't know. That is the look. I think these products perform really well. I, I would not say this is a $1 look. So what do you guys think of these products? Based on how they applied in the video, would you guys give them a try? Have you tried them before? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Instagram glossary of tags.